when you give someone a sword for the first time and they hold it in their hand, you can see the excitement in their faces. And There is a certain magic about that moment. We absolutely forgot about swords as soon as we started having rifles and firearms. And it's nice to see the, all the efforts put into trying to recreate, to give a new birth to this beautiful martial art. Many European martial arts died out. Um, for example, the use of the medieval longsword or the sword and buckler or the rapier. Um, and uh, so we have to go back to historical sources and in interrogate those historical sources. There are a variety, a, a mass of different uh, manuscripts and historical texts that people work from and a lot of these are in various foreign languages and they've been translated and translated from, from old versions of, even old versions of English and we don't necessarily know exactly initially what, uh, what the interpretation of that is. In sports fencing when your coach gives you a technique to practice you practice that technique and he got it from his coach but you know you've got it right because your coach tells you to do it and he says yes you've got it right and that doesn't happen in HEMA because we've got a source material and we've got nobody that's able to say this is how the technique is done. You're given some information. You're never, you're never given all the information. Sometimes you're assisted with pictures or illustrations, sometimes not. Sometimes, usually, we have text, but sometimes not. A certain kind of cut might be described as coming from a certain place, perhaps on the right shoulder, and it might describe the end result, trying to hit the person in the head. But what it does not tell you is how to get from here to there. Well, the process of moving uh, an understanding of a martial system from the page, the historical page, once it's been translated, transcribed, um, moving it into a physical paradigm is, is, it can take a number of paths. What tended to happen is, is mainly that somebody would drag one of their friends out into a field and give them a stick and say, try and hit me like this, and I'm gonna do this. And, and initially, you, 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 kind of, you, you start off in a very informal manner, and as, as you begin to isolate techniques that work or elements of the system that keep repeating, you can make it a little bit more formal. For me, it is about the intention to study and to recreate an art that has been lost through centuries.